In the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Thank you. My brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to lasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, whose providence never fails in its design, keep from us, we humbly beseech you, all that might harm us, and grant all that works for our good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, remember Jesus Christ, raised from the dead, a descendant of David. Such is my gospel for which I am suffering, even to the point of chains like a criminal. But the word of God is not chained. Therefore, I bear with everything for the sake of those who are chosen, so that they too may obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus, together with eternal glory. This saying is trustworthy. If we have di died with him, we shall also live with him. If we persevere, we shall also reign with him. But if we deny him, he will deny us. If we are unfaithful, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. Remind people of these things and charge them before God to stop disputing about words. This serves no useful purpose, since it harms those who listen. Be eager to present yourself as acceptable to God, a workman who causes no disgrace, imparting the word of truth without deviation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God, my Savior. Teach, teach me, me your, your ways, ways, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus, he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. Teach me your, your ways, ways, O Lord. Lord. All the paths of the Lord are kindness and constancy toward those who keep his covenant and his decrees. The friendship of the Lord is with those who fear him. The friendship of the Lord toward those who keep his covenants and his decrees. The friendship of the Lord is with those who fear him and his covenant for their instruction. Teach, Teach me, me your, your ways, ways, O Lord. May 
Lord be in your heart and on earth. Christ's gospel worthy and well. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, the first is this, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribes said to him, well said, teacher. You are right in saying, he is one and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, you are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Teach me your ways, O Lord. That's the prayer of a humble person. Teach me your ways. It's the prayer of a wise person also. You know, Lord, my ways are not your ways. My ways lead away from you. My ways lead to a house of cards that collapse. My ways lead to building my house upon sand rather than on a rock. Teach me your ways, O oh Lord. Not the ways of the world, not the ways of our culture, your ways. That's humility and wisdom. And his ways are hard. When he said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life, that way includes crosses. His ways, take up your cross and follow me. Take up your cross. In our first reading, there, I mean, there's Paul in prison. Remember, Jesus Christ raised from the dead the son of David, such is my gospel for which I am suffering. Even the point of chains, like a criminal. Our Lord's ways can lead us being treated like a criminal for the sake of the gospel. Teach me your ways, Lord. Are we serious about that? I could be treated like a criminal. And so Paul, in the midst of that, still loves God, still loves his neighbor. The two great commandments. In the midst of suffering, in the midst of being chained, he still loves God. 
in the midst of a pandemic, in the midst of a recession, do we still love God? Teach me your ways, Lord. We go there with open eyes. No, that he's not going to teach us what we want to hear, but what we need to hear. He will challenge us. So often I'm looking for words that will reinforce where I am, that I guess I'm on the right path. Reinforce I'm on the right path. Reinforce that I'm straight, going straight to heaven. What I'm doing now doesn't need to change at all. I can keep doing what I'm doing. Sometimes that's what we want to hear, that I don't have to change. But that's not the ways of a humble person, the ways of a wise person. Once again, our Lord's ways means crosses. It's not going to be easy. Once again, will we still love God in the midst of that? Knowing his ways are hard, but his ways lead us to heaven. And loving God entails loving neighbor which, as we know, is not easy. Our neighbors are sinners like us, and their mistakes impact us negatively. Our Lord even says, love your enemies. He fleshed this out. Lord, teach, teach me your ways. And guess where we can find a lot of that? Sermon on the Mount, his teachings. We read the Gospels, we also see his life, how he lived, which includes crucifixion. You have, heard, you have heard that it was said, love your neighbor, hate your enemy. But I say to you, he's teaching us his ways. So it's certainly not we hear that a lot, but I tell you. If we really want him to teach us ways, we go to the Sermon on the Mount. Teach me, Lord. Teach me your ways. Here he goes. Love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your heavenly Father to make us like God, who's always faithful when we're not faithful, as Paul wrote. He makes his sun rise on the bad and the good. The rain falls on the just and the unjust. If you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brothers only, what is unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect, just as your heavenly Father is perfect. He's teaching us his ways. And then we get near the end of the Gospel of Matthew. And we have the great parable of the separation of sheep from the goats. What you do to least among you, you do to me. You do for me. He links love of God and love of neighbor to taking care of the least among us. Those are his ways. Take care of the least among you, show your love for me. For he loves everybody. Do we love what God loves? Teach me your ways, O oh Lord. Can we pray that with open eyes, with all humility, trusting that even though he leads us on the narrow and difficult path, that narrow and difficult path leads us all the way to heaven. Amen. Amen.
Please stand. With faith and trust, we bring our needs to God. For our Pope, bishops, and priests, that they may always be men of prayer, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace of heart and peace of mind, for all those around the world who are anxious and fearful, for good health for all healthcare workers, and that our efforts to combat the coronavirus will be successful, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in sacramental marriages and for healing in those marriages that are struggling, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, that God free us from our sinful ways and help us to walk with joy in the way of his commandments, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our prisoners, family members, and friends who are ill, and for those who have contracted the coronavirus, that our Lord may strengthen them and help them bear their burdens, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our friends, family members, or prisoners who have died, and for all those who have died as a result of the coronavirus, that they may join the angels and saints in heaven, giving glory to God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of Lama de Amora, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, you are always faithful. Hear our prayers and answer them according to your will through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Cup of campaign prayer. Almighty God, all gifts come from you. Direct our plans for the future and guide the work we do now so that all we do may give you honor and glory. We humbly ask for your blessing upon our capital campaign and grant us your success so we might serve you better. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands become for us the bread of life. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink.
pray, my friends, that my sacrifice was acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him, you've been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore, he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, thrones and dominions, with all the host and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as thou and we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks if held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring the fullness of charity 
together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop, his assistant bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to a light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace, you grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And grace she grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed was called the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall. Those attending Mass at home, the prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. 
I desire to receive you into my soul. He says, I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you're already there. Unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray.
Governed by your spirit, we pray, O Lord, those you feed with the body and blood of your Son, that profess in you not just in word or in speech, but also in works and in truth, we may merit to enter the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Don't forget Saturday is first Saturday, Rosary 825, Mass at 9 a.m. And then starting next week, um, we're not going to live stream Thursday and Friday daily Mass. We get Katrina those two days off. She's worked every day since the end of March. So we're going to give her Thursday and Friday days off from now on. So it won't be, but she deserves. So we won't be live streaming Thursday and Friday daily Mass. We'll live stream Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay? For St. Michael, St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke whom we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Just to clarify, there still is Mass Thursday and Friday. We don't need Katharina for Mass, but you need me. I'll be here Thursday and Friday. Okay? The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Still more fruit. Look at that. She can leave. Just cover the monstrance.